allegiance to the flag, right hand on the left breast. All knights in the uh, uh, uniform, please uh, follow us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Republic of the Philippines. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Republic of the Philippines. For which it stands one nation. For which stands one nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. Indivisible. With liberty. With liberty. And justice for all. Justice. Please be seated. Effective sponsors. I now command the candidates to be brought in. Candidate number one, Clayford Menenses. Next, candidate number two, Ronel Pagiwot. Cristo are from Itobico. Next, Nicola Valentón of Mississauga. Benson Pistain, also of Mississauga. Isagane Dador of Hamilton. Maver Magbanwa, Hamilton. Ray Sagane Rolluda, Hamilton. Mark Anthony Manginen, Hamilton. Bernard Gaspin, Hamilton. And also Andy Bosa of Hamilton. Thank you very much, uh, Supreme First of all, the illustrious chapter commander. It is my pleasure and privilege to present the illustrious gentleman before you, waiting your pleasure to proceed with the ceremonies and rituals attendant to their admission to the order of the Knights of the South. Illustrious gentlemen, in the name of the Knights of Rizal, I bid you welcome to our company. You have been deprived temporarily of the light to symbolize the political darkness in which our people lived at the time of Dr. Jose Rizal, when he was marched to the field of Bagumbayan of the fateful morning of December 30th, 1896. In this brief interval, we ask you to pause and meditate on the sublime sacrifice that won for us the vibrant spirit of nationalists. We trust you will always be reminded of the need and the duty to keep alive in our minds the teachings of Dr. Jose Rizal. Our rules prescribe that you give testimony of your intentions in seeking admission to our ranks of your character and moral conduct and of your willingness to accept the strict discipline of knighthood. I'd like now to ask the following questions. Yes, say I do. And please say I do. Have you studied the teachings on patriotism and love of country from Dr. Jose Rizal? I do. I do. Do you promise to conduct to the best of your ability your life as a good man in accordance with the principle of idealism of Dr. Jose Rizal? I do. I do. Are you willing to assume your share of the responsibility to propagate and uphold the doctrines of patriotism taught by Dr. Jose Rizal? I do. Do you pledge to abide willingly 
by the order's rules and regulations and by the order of its duly constituted officers? I do. I do. I do. Do you voluntarily pledge to all these without mental reservation? I do. I do. Having satisfactorily answered these questions, which I think have been given in good faith, may I now request the Supreme Chancellor to, re to now remove the blindfold and conduct the postulants to their seats. Okay, can you assist me? Warden. Uh, Warden, can you assist me? Uh, Sir, please. please. Come to this occasion, may I ask the chairman of the prefectural tribunal if the candidates before us have been interviewed as required by our bylaws and may we hear the recommendations of the same tribunal? Illustrious Supreme Commander, it is my privilege to announce that this prefectural tribunal has conducted, as prescribed by our bylaws, a quiet investigation and evaluation of the public and private lives of all candidates here. In has in they have been found to be acceptable and meritorious. By virtue, therefore, among others of the knowledge of the teachings of Rizal, we have found them worthy of admission into our order. This tribunal wishes to take this opportunity to express its warm and sincere congratulations to the candidates. Illustrious Supreme Commander, having complied with the required test of their loyalty and devotion to the teachings of Rizal, I rise to assume the privilege of petitioning for the last and solemn dubbing of knighthood. But before I conduct the postulants to your presence, sir, I will ask the Deputy Supreme Commander to lead the oath prescribed by our rules. Illustrious gentlemen, now repeat after me. Please raise your hand. Raise your hand. I, do I do solemnly promise. I do solemnly promise. Upon my word of honor. Upon my word, word of honor. honor that, that. I shall seriously study the teachings of Rizal. I shall seriously study the teachings of Rizal. And endeavor. And endeavor. To put them into practice. Them in Always keeping in mind, Always keeping in mind. The, orders moral, the orders moral, non omnis moria. Not everything in me will die. Not everything in me will die. I shall work for a perfect unity. I shall work for a perfect unity. Of my community. Of my community. I shall do no wrong. I shall do no wrong. And shall protect and defend my fellow man. Against all violence and injustice. Against all violence and injustice. I shall endeavor. I shall endeavor. As far as possible. As far as possible. To extend assistance to my brother Knight. Extend assistance to my brother Knight. And fellow man. And fellow man. To enhance their programs. To enhance their programs. And promote their welfare. And promote their welfare. And I shall uphold. And I shall uphold. And obey strictly the bylaws of the order. And obey strictly the bylaws. And its rules and regulations. And its rules and regulations. Uh, you can put down your uh, right hands. Thank you very much. Uh, Deputy Supreme Commander, Sir Alex. Okay, let's now go to the uh, 
dubbing of the uh, postulants. So uh, maybe uh, Sir Frank. Dubbing. So uh, for before that, I will uh, ask uh, Richard to demo. demonstrate the kneeling ceremony for the dubbing. So Richard, can you get uh, the uh, pillow and demonstrate the kneeling uh, procedure? There. Okay, this is the proper uh, this is the proper uh, way to live uh, before you're done. So you have to uh, kneel with your right. Uh, okay, okay. You need to kneel with your right. And you put both of your uh, uh, hands on your knee, left knee. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Richard. Yep. And uh, we request uh, Sir uh, uh, Doc to please uh, demonstrate, uh, make it a sample of how to do uh, that before we go to the official party. Okay, let's go to the proper time. Okay, so now you know how to uh, give. Right? So first, uh, you read the names. The first to be that. These are our family. The first to be dubbed is, is Isagani, Sir, uh, uh, Isagani from Hamilton. By virtue vested upon me by the Constitution of the National Brazil, I hereby dub you Sir Isagani. Congratulations. And then the next one is Clifford Menaces. By virtue of the authority vested upon me by the Constitution of the Knights of Brazil, I hereby dub you Sir Clifford. All right. From Hamilton. By virtue of the authority vested upon me by the Constitution of the Knights of Brazil, I hereby dub you, Sir Mark. Okay. Uh, By the virtue of authority vested upon me by bylaws and constitution of the order, I dub you Knights of Brazil, Sir Mabir, Mabir Magbanwa. Arise. The next one would be Mr. Bernard Caspe of Hamilton. By the virtue of authority vested upon me, by bylaws and constitution of the order, I dub you, Sir Caspe Bernard, as Knights of Rizal. Arise! Pastor Romel Baguel from the Topical Chapter. For this, I want to do the honor of the area commander of Eastern Area, no other than Sir Tom Minet. Sir Dong, can you do the last one? Sir Dong.
by the order just uh, vested in me by the Constitution and bylaws, I, I dub you as Knights of Brazil, member of the Knights of Brazil, Sir Ronel. Arise, Sir Ronel. Makes these uh, postulants as members of the Knights of Brazil, and they from now on they will be called sirs. I called them Mister uh, before they were that, and now they are called sirs. So Sir uh, Isagami, Sir Clifford, Sir Mark Anthony, Sir Mab uh, Sir Mabir, Sir Bernard, and Sir Pastor Rubel. Let's give them a, a big round of applause. Now's the time to pin the medals, and may I request the sponsors or uh, ladies and uh, wives who can come in uh, to pin the medals. So for this, may I request the postulant to face the audience so that they can see it. Okay? Okay, so uh, face the audience, and may I request the sponsors of uh, the postulants to come forward uh, uh, to come forward to pin the medals. Okay, so, uh, Pastor Ronel, I think uh, Pastor Manso is the uh, sponsor. Picture. Take picture. Okay, um, before uh, we proceed with the uh, Philip medal, I think, uh, sorry for that, uh, some other uh, postulants are here. Um, so we, feel, uh, we have to first dab the other postulants before we officially continue with the beginning of medals, okay? So uh, please bring the uh, seats back and face the dignity. All postulants, please face the dignity. Okay, uh, we'll uh, continue the dabbing ceremony. And Sir uh, Joe Damasco will do the dabbing. Demo. Uh, another demo from Sir Richard for the newcomers. By the way, they already orient. Uh, yeah. Sir Pastor Lua and Sir Joe already uh, oriented. Yeah. Okay, so when kneeling, you kneel with your right knee, you place both hands on the left knee. Okay. So the one uh, to be stopped by uh, would be Mr. Nick Balento from Inzaga. Face, face the, uh, the other uh, facing. <coughs> for, for, the, for the power, because soon by those is the night of result, I hereby uh, stab Nick Valentin. Nick, Nick, Nick Valentin. Night of result. Rise, uh, sir, Nick. Okay. The next one would be Vincent, uh, Mr. Vincent uh, Festi from Minnesota. For your power, because this is a virus of the night of Brazil, I hear my staff, Vincent, the night of Brazil, five steps. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Okay, we will uh, go back uh, to the uh, video of medals. Uh, you uh, nice, please face the audience. And I request all the uh, sponsors to please come and assist in the beginning of the medal. Okay, uh, one at a time. So we can take pictures. Okay, so first one will be uh, for Sir Brunel Pastor Baguel. Picture. And the next one here is for Sir Bernard Caspe. 
Sir Pastor Luel, for me. Okay, medal. Okay, the next to be uh, to uh, have uh, his uh, medal pin would be Sir Nick or Sir Vincent Castine to be uh, pinned by. But anyway, and then uh, Sir Nicholas uh, Badenton. And then uh, going to the right. Uh, Okay, next year would be for Sir Mabir. And sir, for Sir D. Ford here, uh, may I request Sir uh, uh, the sponsor, Sir Frank Crawford, please be in the Okay. Uh, going uh, to the left would be uh, Sir Pastor Luel Pini for uh, Sir Vincent uh, Justin. Okay, so, uh, uh, the next uh, medal would be paid to uh, Sir uh, Nick. Okay, okay. 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 Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, we have the new night. Uh, uh, So I introduce basically everybody to the, uh, to the order. So now, uh, let's give uh, them once again a big round of applause. The new night. <laughs> and for this, um, are they uh, I think uh, you have to take your seat up. Uh, please uh, be seated, everybody, uh, the new knights. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You have to see the knights here. here. Oh. I'm facing uh, the audience. Uh, let's now have a short remarks. I think that there are many of them. Uh, should uh, we have it uh, individually to uh, for them to speak, or we just choose uh, representatives? Maybe one from uh, Aminsaka, one from Etobicoke, and one from Hamilton can speak up. So who will volunteer for? Just one. Just one. Just one for the whole so, uh, whom do you uh, suggest would speak? Who would volunteer to speak for the whole group? You will just uh, say a word about your uh, impressions about the Knights of Result, how do you feel like uh, right now? The new night of yourself. Pastor Ronel. Pastor Ronel? Volunteer. Can you speak for the group? Volunteer. So, I know Pastor Ronel uh, is a Rizalist. He is an instructor uh, regarding uh, some subjects about Rizal at La Salle. I think he has a lot of things to say about that, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> sir, the new sir, Pastor Ronel Baguet, will speak for you. Good afternoon, everyone, and 
I do really thank and praise the Lord for this opportunity to be part of this prestigious group, the Night of Rizal, uh, particularly here in Canada and here in Etobicoke chapter. So in behalf of my co-postulants here, and we appreciate for welcoming us and to it's a privilege truly to join this um, this group we're in the the ultimate purpose is to invite the, um, the love for our country and for the nations and the ideals of dr Rosario. yes uh, once uh, during my in the philippines during my um, shall, shall I say teaching ministry in a particular uh, university there. once I became an instructor and I do believe in the ideals and also the purpose of Dr. Jose Rosal which we need to imbibe and communicate to the next generation individuals today so this is the challenge the purpose, the ideals, not only the ideals, the values that we can truly um, learn from the life of Dr. Jose Rizal must be um, communicated to the next generations. So this is my desire and also my uh, my hope as part of this uh, Night of Rizal <coughs> is to really inspire the next generation to really become a significant contributor as we as we live out the teachings, the doctrines and the ideals of our Dr. Jose Risa. And you know what? Uh, the sacrifices that, that um, demonstrated by Dr. Jose Risa is the same this um, sacrifice did by the Lord Jesus Christ in a larger picture. Because we all know that Dr. Jose Risa did uh, made a significant contribution for the um, for the freedom that must be given to the Filipino. And so, in the same way, the Lord Jesus Christ, me as a pastor, I do really um, imbibe the teachings of Doctor of our Lord Jesus Christ in His sacrifice on the cross. We all know that. For God so loved the world that He gave His life. It's like Dr. Rosario said, He gave His life for us to live. For us to recover once the freedom that has been, um, shall I say, um, deprived from us. So, again, again, Pastor Ronel, and thank you so much for welcoming here at Nice of Rizal. It's been my joy, and I do believe I will do uh, my very best to be part of a night of result here in Canada. Again, good afternoon, and God bless us. Thank you. Thank you very much. The new uh, night of result, the topic for chapter, sir, past all the And. Uh, the next part of the program, may I request Sir uh, Frank Crawford to explain the three types of uniforms. Okay. Okay, uh, good afternoon, person. All, uh, I would like to congratulate. Uh, okay, you're not postulants anymore. You're, you're a search already. Welcome to Nights of Rizal. Well, for those of you who were not here earlier for the orientation, I would like to explain to you the three types of uniforms, such as type A, the one you're wearing right now, the Baron style. Uh, you're wearing this in, um, uh, in our uh, major events, such as the June 19 uh, Rizal Martyrdom, oh, I mean Rizal uh, birth anniversary, and December 30 Rizal Martyrdom. And the second one is the type B, the black suit uniform. So I know you're, you're not familiar with that, so since you're new. So, um, the, the, the one in the picture here. Oh, the one in the picture. Uh, behind yeah, you is uh, our uh, see national see hero, Dr. Rizal, is wearing the yeah. Type B uniform. Similar to this one. Yeah. 
I think you, uh, you will wear that uniform maybe uh, after, uh, maybe before the winter or summer or, yeah, uh, in the winter. Maybe uh, uh, when we're uh, commemorating the martyrdom because it's cold uh, in Arabic, so you cannot wear your barong. And last but not the least is the Type C uniform. What is the Type C uniform? That one is a shirt with collar. So you're gonna wear it uh, during an um, uh, informal event, such as if we're having a picnic, if we're having a, a sports fest, or the, if we're joining the parade. So you will wear that Type C uniform. And now, for the meaning of the one you're wearing now. Oh, the black pants. No, Sergio will, Sergio will explain that. So I would like to, to uh, uh, Sergio, that's his expertise. <laughs> to explain the meaning of this uniform. Sergio? Okay. Yeah, he will uh, explain uh, the, uh, you know, the combinations of uh, the, group, uh, the uh, colors of the war. Uh, 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 Sergio. Hello, hello. About the mechanism. Congratulations, uh, Sir Knights. Uh, there were eight of you, so probably in a few months there will be 80 already. <laughs> so each of you will uh, get new members who love the uh, sort of stuff. I would like to explain the uniform that we are wearing now. I would like to call my model, uh, Sir Chris uh, Martin. He has some of the uh, regional council. <laughs> Uh, in the first place, uh, you don't have to be good looking like a self priest. Uh, anyway, uh, we are wearing a barong. This barong is uh, I call it uh, color beads, actually. Uh, you cannot buy this at the Dalarama, Dalarama store. <laughs> 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 the Dalarama. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, there are many decorations, many pictures behind me. It will be like the Nagayam for the decoration. There are many pictures behind me. If you see their color, uh, it's uh, red. This is already maroon, uh, maroon, maroon. <laughs> Dark red, and we have the uh, the other side, the manga. It's a uh, dark red that symbolizes the blood of Doctor Zaza. And of course, if you see the uh, the flowers. These are not ordinary flowers. These are laurels, and you know very well that Doctor Zaza is a peace uh, uh, peacemaker, the peacemaker, peacemaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, white is very black uh, because it's during the dark age of uh, the time of Torres and South. And of course, she was wearing shiny shoes. But <laughs> oh, well, it's uh, black shoes. Because we are at uh, that time, uh, we, are, uh, we are walking in the black era. Era. Uh, it's a and you, you know very well uh, what uh, he's wearing inside? <laughs> he's wearing red. <laughs> so that's uh, the symbolize. But this kind of uniform, you cannot wear it during the uh, uh, Halloween party. You cannot wear this. You can only wear this during the official function. Uh, pag uh, in the chapter commander, meron ba yung uh, official function having or ceremony, you wear this. Uh, pag pumunta kayo sa CNK, ating kayo ng ano, na festival, you're going to be so so so. Kunti, uh, kung pagkita kayo ni Sir Brock, uh, ako, makaitimod na kayo. Anyway, uh, before that, uh, we'd like also to uh, demonstrate uh, Sir uh, Chris, the Resilient Side. Uh, salute, salute. 
Nanong Right down above the le left front. Ano uh, yan, nakalevel sa puso. Uh, Katamtama lang ang sulat kasi pag masyado ba haba, punta doon ng haba nun. Punta doon. Kapag nakakita rin ang brand niya malayo, punta doon pa naman sa lista, subukan nyo pag nakita nyo si si Duterte, ex-president Duterte, subukan nyo rin gano'n, rasagot naman sa iyo. Kasi na ito po isang si ex-president Duterte. So, pag nagpunta naman kayo sa Montreal, nakita nyo mga taga-Montreal, magaganda na laki mga yan. Kaya makikita nyo naman, lahat sila may may ano yan, may ano yan, may sas. Kaya, pag nakita nyo, sasaludo lang kayo. Pag hindi nyo siya maludo, siguro hindi na ito presas yun. Baka ano yan eh, baka sabihin ko ah. At before we go to the break, kasi mukhang na yung Mukhang na yung bumbuto ng kaya. Kaya nyo na kayo kasi ito. Ito nga 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 Okay, so for the resilient hug, it's called the resilient hug, by the way. Uh, when you when you approach the, uh, can you stand up? Isagat. Isagat. So when you, when you approach the uh, the knight, you approach him this way. So your your right hand would be on his shoulder, up, uh, over his shoulder, and your left hand is over. No kiss. 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 No Calls for everyone. Okay, uh, we'll take a picture. Uh, we request everybody to please uh, uh, give a warm welcome to the new Knights of Rizal. All the Knights of Rizal. Yes, our brothers and Knights of Rizal. Let's go and uh, uh, greet them. Thank you.